let's look at GCOC 11. And this deals with all things about quadrilaterals, their properties, uh, and what you need to know about them. And um, the first activity in here has you kind of take a transformational approach to finding these properties. There are different ways to finding them. But the idea is that if you take any quadrilateral, and I'll just make a, a goofy looking one, just whatever, just drew any old one, every quadrilateral can be made up into a set of triangles. So, if you want to know about um, those properties of the inside, the guts of the quadrilateral, if you start with triangles, you'll work your way to obtain that. So just to give you an example, if we started with an isosceles triangle like this one, and isosceles triangles, we know a few things. We know they have two equal sides, at least two equal sides, and they have base angles. Now, if I wanted to make a quadrilateral, I might rotate this about this midpoint 180 degrees. And what it would do is form uh, the congruent, obviously, uh, congruent triangle, and it would place itself something like this. Now this is a quadrilateral. What kind of quadrilateral is it? Well, I notice it has four equal sides. So first of all, by definition, a rhombus has four equal sides, uh, a quadrilateral of four equal sides. So this is a rhombus. Now I can start to investigate what things are going on. Let me add another thing. There was an angle up here that went here. Now the first thing I notice is that opposite angles of this quadrilateral are equal. Look. This one equals that one. This pair would equal this pair. And so opposite um, angles are congruent. I uh, noticed that it, it has opposite sides that are also congruent. I notice that um, this angle added to that angle, because that's the whole rhombus angle there, is a dot, dot, and an x. And a dot, dot, and an x will always equal 180. So the consecutive angles are actually supplements in this shape. I noticed that with this diagonal, it cut the big angle of the rhombus into two equal parts. Ah, diagonals are angle bisectors. And I could continue to do this until I find all of the properties of a rhombus hiding right there. Now just, I'm not going to do a bunch of them, but just to show you what, what would have happened if it was a, a right triangle and we rotated it, uh, let's say, about its midpoint here. And there's different ways to rotate this. You could rotate this right angle about here, a right triangle, and you would get this shape. Or you could rotate it about here and you would get this shape, and then you would begin to investigate angles and properties and, and all those kinds of fun things. Um, this list here represents the typical things that are found in pieces, parts of these quadrilaterals. And so you want to just get used to understanding what they are and how they work. Um, and this is kind of a, an inside-out approach to finding those, those relationships.